What is Medicaid? And what is the difference between Medicaid and Medicare? Medicare is our health insurance. It pays for care as long as we're getting better. But what Medicare does not pay for is if we have plateaued or not continue improving. The most, depending on your supplements, that Medicaid can pay for in a skilled living facility is about 100 days. But most people are reassessed and plateau after about 20 days. After 20 days, we have to pay for our own skilled nursing care. So my grandmother thought of herself as the $6 million woman because when she had a heart attack and was continuing to improve from the recovery from her quadruple bypass surgery, Medicare paid for just about everything. But when we talk about Medicaid, we're talking about a public benefit program that'll pay for skilled nursing home care. Now that's an important to, distinction to make in Pennsylvania because it doesn't pay for assisted living or non-skilled care. It is strictly a program to pay for skilled care. The reason it's important to get help paying for skilled care is because the average month of care in western Pennsylvania per month at a skilled care facility runs between seven and eight thousand dollars per month. Now Medicaid pays for a lot of things. It'll pay for skilled care, it'll pay for a semi-private room, it'll pay for co-pays for other supplies and devices that are necessary, but there's certain things that Medicaid will not pay for. Number one, Medicaid doesn't pay for eyewear, doesn't pay for dental visits, doesn't pay for dentures. And this can be very difficult, especially if you have someone who have Alzheimer's. They might lay down their dentures or glasses and forget where they were. Or maybe another patient comes in their room and picks up the glasses that they've been looking for for four years and walks away with them. The idea behind doing planning is to make sure that we have money available to purchase these supplemental things. We recently lost my great aunt. She was sharp as a tack till the day she died at 92, but she had some physical limitations and had to go into a skilled facility. The phone and the television, the cable television, were her lifeline to the outside world. These are also things that Medicaid wouldn't pay for. So the idea is, we set aside assets to use to supplement the care so that my aunt could maintain the phone and the other things that Medicaid wouldn't pay for. For additional information on other topics regarding estate planning, please call us at 1-800-879-0984 or you can visit us on the web at www.shieldsandboris.com. The Elder Law Offices of Shields and Boris, helping you protect your family legacy.